What's up guys, it's the only ninja wearing aviators and a superhero hat bringing you another video here on the Modern Ninja channel. Now guys, I have another weapon logs video here for you today and this time we are reviewing this bow staff. What I think to be one of the best beginner bow staffs you can possibly get. So, stick around because right now we have to run that intro. So guys, we have a basic tapered wooden bow staff sent to me by 10th Degree Weaponry. I'll leave links down in the description to how you could find a bow staff like this if you wish to buy this at the end of the video. This is a great bow staff for anyone really, anyone that's trading in bow staff, whether you're beginner, intermediate, advanced. But I think it's especially good for beginners to have because it has a couple things going for it. The first reason I think it's great for beginners is the weight. Now it's not going to be one of those giant heavy bow staffs that you have to like you have insane wrist strength in order to spin around and do your strikes with but it's also not going to be a chicken bow staff that's going to break soon if you mess up or going to be too light for you to actually learn how to use a bow staff like this gives you just enough resistance so you can learn how to do your strikes and have the weight that will allow you to get stronger wrist when doing drills like your hand rolls or your palm fence and stuff like that it will allow you to get stronger without hindering how well you can learn the bow staff this bow stuff is also going to be able to take some hits. You're going to be able to do combat drills, whether it's blocking drills or striking drills, whatever uh, the drills are that you're going through in class or going through, you know, in the backyard with your with your brother, sister, whatever. Uh, it'll be able to take my dog's back there. It will be able to take. <laughs> it will be able to take the hits uh, fairly well. Obviously, you know, if you hit certain anything with a certain amount of force it will break but as far as training goes no one should ever be telling beginners at bow staff to hit as hard as they can into another bow person holding a bow staff that's just not a good idea if your instructor tells you to do that you need to start questioning your choice in instructors and so because of its durability learning traditional combat and traditional striking with bow staffs will be possible. This bow staff is also tapered, which means it's big in the middle and it gets smaller as it goes out to each end, making it easier to do spins and learn extreme martial arts, learn extreme bow staff if that's what you're wanting to do. It allows you to spin your bow staff slightly faster and slightly more sm slightly more smoothly. Ugh, I can't talk today, guys. It allows you to spin your bow staff slightly more smoothly than if it was a straight, non-tapered staff. I personally recommend tapered staff for anyone that wants to get into XMA or any type of staff tricking or anything like that. Now this bow staff does not come with a grip. Most wooden bow staffs don't come standard with grips. And so you can always go online and find whether it's tennis racket tape or gorilla tape or whatever you want to use as a grip and put that on your bow staff wherever you want it to be. You can do that and it will allow XMA tricks to be easier on the bow staff. But if you're using this bow staff for traditional reasons, it's not super necessary because you're not going to be doing, you know, releases in traditional bow staff. You're not going to be doing releases in combat staff training. And so for those reasons, you don't really need grip. But if you are considering using this bow staff for XMA, uh, it's great if you're just getting into it but definitely invest in some grip because it will make doing xma a lot easier with this staff now if you want to know more about the difference between traditional staffs like this one or xma staffs like this infinity staff over here this <laughs> thanos staff with all the infinity colors over here i will be doing videos about this bow staff a little bit later and a comparison directly between these two and one other staff just so you can figure out which staff is actually best for you. So if any of those videos sound interesting for you, definitely hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss when I actually post those uploads. I upload three times a week, uh, tutorials on every Saturday and random videos on during, throughout the week. So if that interests you at all, definitely check it out, hit that subscribe button. And like always guys, if there's any weapon in particular that you want me to review or even martial art video that you want me to cover, definitely let me know down in the comments. That's, I love checking the comments. I love answering questions. I love getting suggestions from you guys. If you want to be more direct with your suggestions, maybe get them straight to me. Consider, join, consider joining my Discord because 
all of those guys give me a bunch of ideas all the time and they you know talk every now and then they give me suggestions I give them updates stuff like that so if that interests you definitely check that out links below in the description but until next time don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more cuz my name's DJ Moore this is the modern ninja and I'm out